Good morning, dear students. Today we'll be studying a new unit that is physical fitness, wellness, and lifestyle. Under this one, we'll be discussing about meanings and importance of physical fitness, wellness, and lifestyles. First of all, what we have to understand is that every day everybody is progressing something to do or the other to improve our physicals or to improve our mentals. Mental fitness. So at first, let's throw out the date for first many activities. Some of these activities may be related to the body and some of them are related to the mind. Then to do these activities with perfections. Any activities that you want to do, you need to do uh, with the perfections. You know, it can be work or it can be uh, this, it can be about living a life. What happens there with the perfections, uh, without feelings exhausted, we require physical fitness, wellness, and healthy lifestyle. So these are three things which is important in life. Any things that you want to do, what happens there, we need to have physical fitness, wellness, and healthy lifestyles. If these three things is not present in life, what happens is that we, we, we may face difficulties in life, we may not be able to enjoy our life. So this three is very important in life. Three in our life suffers, today our life suffers from physical and mental stress. Everybody has got a problem with physical fitness. Everybody, many of people have got obesity problems, diabetes problems, cancer problems, and after that, so many problems that are arising. Even right now, so we have problems on this coronavirus. So there are problems of physical bodies keep on rising up because of one thing, because we are not doing physical activities. At the same time, we have mental stress. Everybody is worried about the future. Nobody is worried about presence. Nobody is enjoying their present, in fact. But everybody is uh, working for the future. How can I become successful in the future? What will I do after 10 years? What can I achieve after 10 years or 5 years? You keep on worrying about future all the time. So what happens there? This, in a society, we have two problems, which is very severe, that is the physical problems and after the mental stress, which is affecting our way of living, our way of life. Your life is being affected because of two reasons. So, to be physically, okay, to be, so a physical fit and mental sound persons with socially happy life have more chance to achieve complete physical developments. So, why do we need complete developments? Physical development so that we enjoy a life. You have plenty of money if you have no physical development, you can enjoy life. So remember one thing on physical body is very important to enjoy anything in your life. You want to enjoy your studies, you need to have physical development. You want to enjoy with your families, you need to have physical development. You want to be successful in the future, you need to have physical development. So this is very important. So that's why only those persons who are physically fit, mentally sound, and person with socially happy life can enjoy this kind of physical fitness. Physical fitness, let's understand what is physical fitness yet. The meaning of physical fitness varies from person to person. Everybody has got different way of physical fitness. Now some persons may seem like it's having a very good physics, means very muscular body. That's the meaning for the physical fitness for somebody. So for some having good physics shows physical fitness, or for some having a proper functioning physical systems. If your body is functioning properly, you're running, you're not getting tired, you're doing work, you're not getting tired. So this can be physical fitness for you. You're having a good respiratory system, your blood is pumping up very nice and effectively. So this can also be a physical fitness for somebody. Some for some performing any work with full potentials, that means you're able to do any work with full potentials without getting fatigued. That is called fatigue means without getting tired. So if you're able to do any kind of work effectively and efficiently, and that also you're not getting tired. So that means you are physically fit. You can also understand like that. According to David R. Lamb, he called physical fitness is a capacity to meet the presence and potential physical challenges of life with success. So this physical fitness are you are supposed to you are able to do anything at the present. At the same time, any kind of challenges in your life, the challenges the board, studying is also challenges for you, for all the students. You don't have to worry about so many things in life, but for now the challenges the board, studying. Now, how can you study well? Only when you're physically fit. You want to meet your friends, you want to travel around, you want to have hobbies. You want to have hobbies about playing. So in this way, what happens is that you need to be physically fit. So anything that you want to do for the presence, or you want anything you want to accomplish, any challenges that comes to your life, you need to be physically fit. So even the physical uh, challenge in your life can be about any kind of sickness that is coming. Right now, uh, the sickness that we're talking about. Now, to overcome the sickness, to fight against the fit sickness, what happens is that you need to be physically fit. And when you're physically fit, then you can overcome these kind of challenges. Right? So that's the meaning for 
physical fitness. So everybody's got a different point of view, but if you're fit and healthy, and if you have any, if you don't have any kind of problems in your life, that will come under physical fitness. Now what is wellness? Now wellness, you're gonna define with just one sentence. Wellness, it includes everything. Now, but in simple word, what you can understand about wellness is that wellness refers to the combinations of good health. If you're good, having a very good health, if you're not getting sick also, that it will come under the wellness. Or if you have balanced mind, means you're able to think properly. You're not worried about so many things about you, you, unwanted, you don't have unwanted thoughts or unwanted imaginations. Your mind is totally balanced and after you're adjusting with the environment and after you are getting think properly, you can react properly, that is called as a balanced mind. At the same time, if you have purity of spirit, if you have very good spirit, I mean good spirits can be good spirits for all teach you to do the right thing, to do the good thing, to say good things. It can be understood as a very good ethics. So in this way, what happens is that if you have good health, if you have a balanced mind, have a period of period of spirits, and overall feelings of well-being, that it can be understood as a wellness. James Randy has defined wellness as wellness is the health related to the practice of optimum individual ability. Optimum ability means you have a body and you can use the maximum out of the body ability to use all of you that is called as the wellness with balance of physical psychology intellectual social emotional and spiritual if you're able to use and be a part of everything that is you are part of this your psychology is very good you're, you have a good intellectual life you have a very good social life you have a very good emotions control of your body and you have very good uh, social uh, there's a spiritual aspect of life then you can consider yourself as a wellness lifestyle lifestyle means how you live your life that's called his life, as simple as that. So he tells us the way he deals with his relations, in detail himself, dress and socialize. So this is a part of you. Anything that is a part of you, how you do things accordingly, accordingly or what are things that you like doing, will come under this uh, lifestyle. So if the relations that you have with your family members, that is your lifestyle, the relations that you have with your friends, how you talk to your friends, how you talk to your parents, how you talk with the teachers, that is your lifestyle. Entertain himself, that you always want to do this, that, and after that. How you entertain yourself? It can be good entertainment, it can be bad entertainment. Good entertainment, like maybe playing sports, and after always going after sports and have entertain yourself, which is a very good lifestyle. But entertain also can be about going to the very um, Parkings, this can also form of entertainment, but enjoying a very raw way you are. You're enjoying at the moment, but thing is in the long run, it's going to be very hard for this, unhealthy for you. So it can also form an entertainment. So how you entertain yourself, that is also part of your lifestyle. Dresses, how you dress your life, that is also part of the of your life. So there's no right or wrong form of dress, or dresses, but how you dress, you're fashionable, you're very common, very simple, will also determine your type of lifestyle. And socializes, how you socialize means how you talk, are you going out and after meeting friends or just making friends or are you having a good relationship with your friends or maybe at home with your neighbors or with your, with your relatives so we'll determine how we'll come under the socialization. Your actions, how you do, what you do, your attitudes, what you think, then after interest, what you're interested at, good things, bad things or it can be your opinions, what you think is about that or your values also part of the person life so this will also come under that part of your lifestyle according to american heritage dictionary i call it a way of life and style of life that reflects the attitude and values so whatever you do whatever you do that things will reflect your attitude and it will reflect your value so this is the meaning for the all definitions of this uh, there's a lifestyle the importance of physical fitness, wellness, and healthy lifestyle. What is the importance of what? Why do you need to? What is the importance of physical fitness, wellness, lifestyle? First of all, optimum growth and development. Optimum growth and development. The body is designed in such a way that the more better you use, the more better you get. The brain is in such a it's functioning in such a way that the more you utilize, the more sharper it gets. So if you have a very good physical fitness, then you're able to do everything. For example, like playing football. You are playing football very effectively only when you have a very good physical fitness. 
So the more you have good physical fitness, the more you play and you will get better and better. But if your physical fitness is very low, what happens is that you will not be able to take part. So you will not be able to use the body to play a particular sport to improve your skill. So definitely what happens, your optimal utilization of your body will go down. But the more you have good health, the more you can do and more you get better and better in your life. So that's the meaning for optimal growth and development of your body. By using the physical fitness or maybe by using the wellness and healthy lifestyle based on this one will develop your growth. Longer life. Everybody wants to stay longer, fitter, healthy for a long period of time. So even I do the same things. But the thing is like this, your lifestyles, if your lifestyle tells you about smoking, drinking, spotting around, taking drugs, then your lifestyles, you will not have a longer life. If you're not doing exercise, if you're not doing, if you're not maintaining physical fitness, then you will not have a longer life. At the same time, your wellness will also determine with the activities they do. So your, if you have a good wellness, then what happens, you have a longer life. So that's what, what happens that to have a longer life, you need to be physically fit, you have a wellness life, and after your lifestyle must be related to improve your longer life. The improve energy levels. The more you do, of course you're getting tired, but efficiency levels will get better and better. Today you're working for five minutes. Definitely you're getting tired for after five minutes. It's okay, no problem. You can take rest or maybe come back tomorrow. Then after that, you can continue to see more again. But let me tell you one thing. Today you're doing an exercise for five minutes. But tomorrow, your efficiency will get better to 11, 10, 20, 30. It will just go on increasing like this. So in this case, what happens is improve your energy level. Today, you're not able to do a very effective work because you have started today. But tomorrow, it will get better and better and better. That's the how you improve your energy levels. Reductions of depressions. Depression is what unwanted thoughts that are happening and affects your mentality. Affects your thoughts. That's called depression. You're worried about so many things in your life. That's called depression. But let me tell you one thing. Whenever you are in the fields, whenever you are playing sport, either you can be basketball, you can be football. So whenever you play, you have only one thing you enjoy. You, you, know, you don't worry about any things about family members. You don't worry about your life. You don't worry about the future. You don't worry about studies. But you just enjoy. So when you're enjoying what happens is you forget all the negativity. Now when you forget all the negativity, you're having a very good time. So in this book, what happens is it reduces in depressions. You stop worrying about things and you become to be happy. And that is a very good medicine for you to remove or reduce depression in your life. Increase self-confidence. If you have good if you have a good health, then you'll be able to do any things and have good things. If you have a very wellness life, you have a very good lifestyle, you always talk to friends, family in a very smiling, in a very polite way, in a very humble way, that people will like you back. When they like you back, what happens is you have more confidence about to talk with any stranger next time. So your lifestyle, your physical fitness, your wellness will give you confidence in your life. Development of social quality. Social quality is very much needed in this generation. We are connected with one another. We are connected with a family. We are connected with relatives. We are connected with the friends. Now, your friends, if you don't have friends, then you'll be alone. So what happens there when you make lots of friends, you have many social relations. You talk with them, you have good interactions, you get ideas for them. So that's what, what happens there. When you're physically fit and healthy, you already have a good, decent lifestyle. What happens there? You'll be going out, then after you're making friends, you're playing around in a play field, also you make friends in a school, in a, in a home, in a neighbors. You make lots of friends. In this way, what happens there? Develop your social quality. But this is only possible when you have a very good health and good lifestyle. Improvements of quality of work. Quality of work. The word quality. Everybody can do something or the other. But the thing is like the what kind of quality do you produce? What kind of work do you produce? This is very important questions. So whenever you're doing a work, performing your work, what happens? The quality of work can be determined upon physical fitness, about physical, about your physical fitness. If you're physically fit, what happens is that you'll be enjoying the work and after you'll be able to perform the work with all your capacity, with all your potentials without getting tired. So what happens there? The work you can sustain the work, and after the more you, more you sustain the work, the more you keep on doing the work, you will get better and better and better. So this way, what happens? The quality of the work will also get better. So these are some of the points that I mentions about the importance of health and fitness. At the end, to wind up with this one like this, I just want to make sure, make you sure understand that in our life, 
education is important. In our life, money is important. In our life, you think about, about being a successful person in the future is also very important. But thinking about the future is not bad. It's good having a plan for the future. But remember one thing, your present in Try to make the best out of the present. Enjoy your present day. In, make the best use of the present day. Invest yourself in the health. Invest, invest yourself in the lifestyle so that in future you will not regret. So I hope these lectures, I hope these chapters understand and make you make you uh, understand some things which is very valuable in your life. So we'll see you next time. Take care and bye.